मॉर्निंग मेडिकोज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम ब्रेस्ट मॉड्यूल दैट इज ए एंड डी आई अब्रेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल डेवलपमेंट एंड इन्वोल्यूशन दिस टॉपिक इज कॉमनली आस्ड इन वेरियस एग्जाम्स एंड वी शुड हैव ए स्ट्रॉग ग्रिप ऑन इट सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक एंड डोंट वेस्ट टाइम इन राइटिंग बिकॉज वी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग फ्री नोट्स ऑन अर टेलीग्राम चैनल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नॉर्मली द ब्रेस्ट अंडर गोज ए सीरीज ऑफ फिजोलॉजिकल चेंजेस देर माइट बी अब्रेशन इन द नॉर्मल डेवलपमेंट दैट मे लीड टू द डिजीज पैथोलॉजी these changes occur according to the age that is 15 to 25 years 25 to 35 years and then 35 to 55 years during 15 to 25 years there is lobular ductal and stromal development there is the series after that there is series of cyclical changes in the breast during 25 to 35 years and after that 35 years after 35 years a uh, breast undergoes involution so let's discuss these stages separately in the development stage some abrasions in the normal de- lobular development will result in the formation of fibroadenoma and if it grows in the size greater than 5 cm it will lead to the formation of giant fibroadenoma after that abrasions in the ductal development lead to the formation of duct ectasia and disease pathology that is a periductal mastitis or abscess finally in this stage there is increase in, there is a stromal development it will lead to the juvenile hypertrophy and if it is in large amounts it may form large breast that is gigantomastia in the next stage that is stage of cyclical changes abrasions will be cyclical mastalgia and if it increases in severity it will cause severe mastalgia epithelial hypertrophy of pregnancy is also seen in this stage and any abrasions in it will lead to the formation of bloody nipple discharge let's move on to the last stage that is the stage of involution in this stage four things occur lobular involution ductal involution sclerosis and epithelial turnover is also seen lobular involution lobular involution may lead to the formation of macrocyst and the disease pathology is fibrocystic disease ductal involution is same as in developmental stage that may cause duct ectasia or periductal mastitis sclerosis is the last event a uh, second last event that is the reason for nipple retraction and sclerosing lesions lesions that might result into the fibroadenosis final thing that we will discuss in involution stage is epithelial turnover as whole breast epithelium also involutes but if there is some uh, abrasion that uh, the epithelium may pile up and lead to the epithelial hyperplasia thank you that's all from this topic hope you like it please download the notes from the link in description and don't forget to subscribe and be a part of monument goes thank you